In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about set notation and terminology. So there is a specific way to write a set, and we must always follow the steps below. So number one, we usually denote the set with a capital letter, for example, A. Step two, we use curly brackets around the list of elements. And step three, we put a comma between each element. So let's do an example. List the elements of the set A, which includes the vowels in the alphabet. Okay, so step one, we use our capital letter. We let this be equal to the list of elements in curly brackets. So we're going to have A, E, I, O, and U. So if you start off always doing it correctly, it will become second nature, and soon you won't have to think about it. So let's discuss some further rules for set notation. Rule number one, we never repeat elements in a set. So we only ever list each element once. Rule number two, we usually put the elements in either numerical or alphabetical order if possible. So the word usually there is important. It won't always be in order, but where we can, we will put them in order. So let's go through an example. We want to list the elements of the set of letters in the word committee. Okay, so we're going to think about our two rules here. We want to list the letters, but we only ever put in each element once. Okay, I'm going to denote this set with the capital letter A. And now we're going to list our elements. So let's see. O, M, I, T and E. So if we're going to rewrite that and just list them in order. So we have A is equal to C, E, I, M, O and T. So listing elements. Let's practice a couple of examples. We want to list the elements of the following set. Number one is the set of the week. Sorry, the set. <coughs> so let's practice listing elements. We're going to do the following examples where we need to list the elements of the following set. Number one, the days of the week beginning with the letter T. So I'm going to use capital A is equal to Tuesday, comma, Thursday. And close my bracket. Part two, the vowels in the word dangerous. So we have A, E, O, and U. Let's look at number three, the big counties in Ireland. Okay, this set, we don't know for definite what are the big counties in Ireland because they haven't give us, given us any further instruction. Okay, so we cannot list the elements for that set. Part four, the list of multiples of five. So we're going to start off with five. 10, 15, 20. The multiples of 5 continue to infinity, so we're going to put three dots at the end to suggest this. And part 5, the odd numbers between 2 and 16. So this is going to be set D, so this is going to be 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So let's discuss the elements in the set. In the above set, A, B, C, D and E are elements in the set A. The symbols that we use for elements are kind of similar to the euro sign, but we don't really want to mix them up. So it's a curved shape with a line going through, like a capital letter E. It's important that we write it correctly. It's not the euro sign. 
it's not the capital letter E. So it must be this curved shape with the line. Okay? Then if we're saying that something is not an element, we do that symbol and then we put a line through it. So we say that A is an element of the set A. F is not an element of A. C is an element of A. And T is not an element of A. So let's state true or false for the following statements on the right. We have the set A is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. B is A, E, I, O and U. And the set C is 1, 5, 12, 20 and 27. So part 1. 2 is an element of A. We're going to say is true. A is an element of B. That's true. 11 is not an element of A. That's true. B is an element of B. That's false. 12 is not an element of C. That's false. And 5 is not an element of C. That is false. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info at positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.